Hello everybody, it's Mr. N. Uh, just a quick tutorial. I figured I'd, I'd wrap this up in a little bit of a video uh, for you. So this is a quick one. But I just want to explain what actually happens um, in the interior of Earth um, and using your, uh, your, your slice of Earth models that you worked so hard over in the last couple of days. So first of all, really nice job. Uh, it looks good. I put them on the board here, all these wedges that you created. And I just kind of want to walk you through how these convection currents work inside of, of Earth, okay? All right, so let's get started. So first of all, you have to realize what these layers actually mean. So um, the green layer you see here is the crust. And that's where we are. So if you were a little human being here, um, here you are standing on this uh, on the surface. And you can see it goes down uh, some ways here and that's what we call the lithosphere. Okay? Now you have to understand that in this area right here, it's very cool. So I'm gonna draw it in, a, in blue. The temperature in those areas is, um, is, is not particularly high, okay? Now as you go down uh, in towards the center of the earth, you encounter the mantle. So I'm gonna do my best here uh, to draw the mantle. So right, whoops, let me just kind of do that again. I screwed up, erase that. Okay, let's try this again. So the mantle is this orange area and this red area. Mantle, okay? And we know that in the mantle, this stuff is liquid. Um, the top, very top part, like let's say right around here, is called the asthenosphere, and it's kind of like a plastic material. If you've ever played with like silly putty, but like a really flowing version of silly putty, that's kind of what it looks like there. But as you get closer to here, it's it's a it's a, it's a true true liquid. Okay, so that's that's where we're going to be talking about. Now uh, this area that I've drawn here, that we've drawn here in yellow, is the uh, outer core. And of course, um, the very interior portion right here is <clears throat> the inner core. Okay, so that's, you did a nice job uh, uh, placing everything here. All right, now let's take a look at the temperature profile you discovered that up here is pretty cool, <clears throat> relatively speaking, in the interior of the Earth. And uh, down here, it's very hot, okay? So the closer you get to the core, the, um, the, the temperature goes up. Okay, so let's kind of put this all together. <clears throat> so we know there is regions of cool and hot. So I showed you up at the top over here um, with this cooler region, okay? And right here towards the uh, end of the mantle, beginning of the uh, core, the, uh, the inner core, it's very hot. So I'm gonna put a little symbol saying very hot right here, just like I did before. All right, <clears throat> now we know that materials that get heated up because they're closer to this outer core um, change their density. So all the liquid that's kind of right here, okay, gets very, very hot, and its density gets lighter. Okay, so when things, it, you think about this, the molecules are moving faster. <clears throat> they are, um, they're, they're, they're farther apart, and hence density changes, so it's much lighter. So as a consequence, this light material starts to rise, okay? So it starts to rise up towards the surface. And invariably what happens is it reaches temperatures that are really cool, so it starts to cool off as it kind of hits this upper crust area, okay? And as it cools, it changes its density to get more dense. So it's heavier. 
Oops. Is heavier. Okay. More dense and heavier. So uh, molecules are more tightly packed. And as a consequence, they'll start to fall. Like this. Okay. Now, of course, I actually drew that one a little bit um, strangely because I actually went into the core, which is solid. Let's stay in the mantle. Okay. Now, as this liquid gets down here again, it gets hot and the cycle just repeats itself. So you get this convection current of things heating up, rising, okay? And you get this convection current of things cooling off and sinking over here, okay? So you, you get these kind of circular currents that just just keep on doing that. And of course, on the other side, the same thing's happening over here. So we're getting these convection currents on both sides. And what happens is that movement, that movement, those little black circles that you see are called convection currents. And they drive what's happening up here with the plates, okay? So you can see these plates will be moving in response to the things that are happening over here in the, in the mantle. So essentially movements that are in the mantle translate to movements of land material on, on the surface. Okay, that's the essence behind why plates move and seafloor spreading and plate tectonics and continental drift and all that. It all has to do with these convection currents in the mantle. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. And uh, if you have any questions, just, um, you know, let me know.